Hey guys, I'm back um, to walk you through the Pleasant Company catalog from, uh, this is the holiday catalog from 1992. Um, we are in the middle of Kirsten and we're gonna be checking out Kirsten's birthday story um, along with, we'll see if we can make it through the rest of the collection as well. So, here we go. Um, so apparently, okay, so Kirsten, her mom is having a baby, um, and she's excited about these changes, but she worries. First, she's afraid for mama's health, then caring for the baby keeps her so busy that life seems to be nothing but chores. Soon, Kirsten doesn't even have time to help with the surprise that she and her friends are planning for their teacher, but her hard work is rewarded when her 10th birthday on June 8th becomes a happy celebration of family and friendship. So I think the big plot line in this book was this quilt. Um, but let's talk about what we can, what we can make of these, this, this birthday collection. Um, I mean the, the big, like these are the two page spreads, right? Of the birthday stories. So you'd always get this nice furniture, um, that was just lovely. So this is the trestle table and matching chairs. Um, they're copied from the sturdy furniture that early, early Swedish settlers like the Larsons made for their simple cabins. Beautiful, handcrafted of solid pine. Gosh, they don't do that anymore. Finished to a rich honey glow. The two chairs feature charming heart cutouts. Those are so cute. And their backs a reminder that the family table was the heart of the Pioneer home, 65 bucks. Um, but it only comes with the table and chairs because all these other goodies are things you have to buy separately. So let's see what we need to buy. Um, so we would need to buy, I love these strawberries, I wonder. You know, again, no, not never having this this myself. Um, I wonder if these were like, if these were sold in clumps or were they just a bunch of just lot? They they calling this lots of plump strawberries. Recreate Kirsten's birthday celebration with a hand carved wooden salt box brimming with field flowers, lots of plump strawberries, and a heart shaped cake on a wooden platter, just like Mama made. That is so cute. But gosh, yeah, I'm I'm thinking this is probably like. I don't know, two dozen str strawberries, individual strawberries you would get. I mean, nowadays, you know, uh, American Girl food is all kind of clumped together, which is, you know, nice if you're a parent with small kids and you're probably gonna, you know, lose all 20 or so of these strawberries as soon as you get home. But, um, wow, those are, that's beautiful detail. Um, and then they've got these adorable little napkins. Let's see, is that coming with this or is that, so let's see, this looks, seems like, to finally make a quilt for okay so along with the party treats which are the wooden platter and the cake oh and this wait salt box wait salt oh this is the salt box lots of plum strawberries okay so then you get this little patchwork quilt kit um you can applique the little hearts in three of the blank squares nice then embroider your initials in the other one you know most I ever learned how to do was cross stitch, so I might be able to work my way through this, but probably not very easily. Um, and then let's see. So this is. Uh, so what's going on here? Oh, oh, this is. Oh, I see. This is the patchwork quilt kit. Okay, got it. So then you got these little, like embroidery floss, and then you've got the um, little heart things you can uh, sew onto here, and then eventually maybe you can add a quilt square to this or I don't even know sorry I'm a little confused about what's going on here this is it, it comes with a hoop the applique needle thread and patchwork pieces already sewn together that's pretty cute um, then we've got this friendship quilt and again I believe this was a big they they all sort of you know sewed this little friendship quilt together and they were maybe they were gonna try to make it for Miss Winston at school maybe yeah um, but then everybody pitched in and gave it to her for her 10th birthday. Very sweet. Um, you and your friends can sign your initials on Kirsten's quilt too. It's been sewn from individual patchwork squares, tufted by hand and inscribed with the same special message that Kirsten's friends wrote on hers for Kirsten Larson on her 10th birthday. Then we got this little mama cat and kitten. These were, I don't know, I can't remember if, I can't, I don't pay too much attention to the animals at American Girl, but um, 
apparently way back in the old days, they actually were kind of silly looking, like they were much more cartoony than realistic cats and kittens. Um, these are still pretty cute, 16 bucks. 18 bucks for this friendship quilt. We got the party treats. Okay, so then the pottery set. I think that's where most of these, these utensils and things come with. Um, so we've got simple stoneware dishes and wooden bowls. Um, the pottery is a charming reproduction of an early folk art design. It is really sweet. You know, you just wouldn't see anything like this at the store nowadays, but once again, I'm just being that grumpy old person saying, they don't make it like they used to. Um, Okay, and then they've got this little, um, let's see. The pottery is a charming reproduction of an early folk art design. Each piece features a little cobalt bluebird. Cute. My mom would like that. She has a whole bird, or her, she has a whole guest room dedicated to bluebirds. Um, the plates are edged in the traditional spongeware pattern. Very cute. Um, I don't know what spongeware is. Does anybody know what spongeware is? Please tell me in the comments. Um, a complete service for two includes two plates, two mugs, two wooden bowls, a pitcher, two knives, a forks and spoons, a woven table runner. That is such a cute little accessory and two napkins. And so I guess the treats, this, the flowers come with the treat set. So 50 bucks was so you got 27, 26, or sorry, 76 bucks to buy this and then Sorry guys, no calculator again. We'll do a running list in the in the in the uh, in the ticker below. Um, and then 65 for the furniture. And then let's talk about her adorable dress. You know, I was never quite a fan. She looks so cute on this um, cover, but I'm sorry, the doll. I was never really a fan of what would happen if you took out those braids. It just looks a little frizzy to me, but she looks very sweet with her little daisy chain. Um, let's see. For Kirsten's first American birthday, she wore a summery dress checked in apple blossom pink. Kirsten Project has a really, really beautiful um, uh, interpretation of this dress for her adult um, figure. Um, apple blossom pink and covered it with a crisp white apron, a gift from Mama. Beige and white striped socks. I wish we could see the close-ups of these socks. Um, complete the outfit. Best of all is the daisy wreath for you to place on Kirsten's lovely long blonde hair. It's the crowning touch for a springtime birthday girl. How cute. Do they talk about these, are these, I guess these are the boots that you got when you first got her. No special boots, I don't think, even though, no, she has her little red boots on the cover, but they haven't introduced those red boots yet, I guess. Yeah, not yet. Um, okay, so, oh, okay, here we go. Special, Kirsten's birthday collection, 205 bucks. Know. not too bad mom I don't know <laughs> includes everything shown on pages 16 and 17 except it all includes a hardcover book gift wrapping 15 bucks how fun would that be oh happy birthday Emily here you go <sighs> wow how fun how fun would that be and so it comes with a dress and everything <laughs> I wonder how much this costs on eBay this whole set I'm gonna say 500 bucks. I bet people are smart and they sell all this stuff separately. Okay, let's move on. All right, Kirsten's summer story. <sighs> what happens here? Oh, there's a fire, isn't there? Is that, wait. Oh, I, uh, no, no, the fire's in the winter story. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, uh, let's just read the summary. And Kirsten saves the day, it's summer at last. Even chores like catching fish for dinner seem like play in the fine, seem like play in the fine Minnesota weather. One day while fishing, Kirsten leaves the stream to explore the ward, the woods. She, uh oh, she finds a bee tree packed with honeycombs. <sighs> Kirsten knows Papa could use the honey to trade for things the family needs, so she decides to bring the honey home as a surprise <gasps> until she discovers that bears are after her treasure too. Uh oh. I think that's gonna come of that story. So here are her little red boots. Only eight bucks. God, what a find. Lace up boots in cheery cherry. Oh, cheery cherry. Nice alliteration there, folks. In cheery cherry red are the perfect addition to Kirsten's wardrobe. They are so cute. Yeah, the Kirsten project. She has a really great um, uh, set of stories. How she um, bought some boots and then I think dyed them. Like she did some really 
I don't know, old school way of, um, of hand dyeing these boots and they look really beautiful. Um, okie dokie. So let's see. Summer dress and straw hat. Very cute. After the heavy woolens, Kirsten wore all winter, this cool summer dress with pale blue stripes, short sleeves, and tiny oval buttons felt so light and airy. Do they talk about... So I've noticed that sometimes they talk about how all of this stuff is... I think they say that all the, um, all the clothes are Velcro. Yeah. All doll clothes have Velcro closure. So yeah, I guess they weren't working, work, they weren't working buttons. It's tied with a black, ooh, uh, oh, top it up, a straw hat, oh, there, uh, with a straw hat that Kirsten longed for. It's tied with a black ribbon and trimmed with a bunch of bright cherries, which I guess we can't see, but from what I remember, I think I've seen this before and those little cherries are really adorable in the back. Um, let's see, fishing set, kind of gross. Let's see, we got, uh, first she filled her bait basket with three grass grasshoppers and a tiny green frog, Ooh. tying them carefully in a little checkered cloth. Then she took her pole and wicker basket, an early fishing creel, down to the stream where she caught three wiggly, slippery trout. Man, you'd have to sit around with a, with a dictionary near you to read some of this vocabulary that they give you in this in this catalog. I love it. Okay, um, then, okay, so that was that wicker basket. So cute. I love just the detail here. Really, really sweet. Um, then we got this 4th of July fun. Um, whenever Kirsten went far from the cabin, she took a little wooden bird whistle so she could whistle for help if she got in trouble, which apparently she, yeah, she certainly needed it the day she went after the honey in the bee tree. But what a treat that honey was, enough to fill two handmade stoneware crocks up right up to their plump corks. Um, then she packed him in a homemade crate and took him to, in, into town for the 4th of July when the family went to the trade to trade at the store. And they got this 31 star flag to wave at the Independence Day activities announced on the village handbill. Really cool. Okay, Kirsten's winter story. Um, so yeah, so this is where the fire comes. So there's like the kind of, I, again, I, sorry, I haven't reread these in a long, 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 long time, but I did um, listen to the recap on the American Girl podcast and they had a pretty funny recap of this because all sorts of really crazy stuff happens. So they basically find like her, she and her brother Lars, um, they find a frightening but important discovery in the woods. It's, I believe a dead man or a house left by a dead man. I can't remember what happened. I, maybe it's probably not the dead man, but they find like this um, abandoned pile of furs, I think. Um, they're like, cool. I think these are ours then, right? Finders keepers, right? Meanwhile, there's a raccoon. She finds a baby raccoon. She takes him home. She's like, guys, look, I found a baby raccoon. And then trouble begins. The raccoon gets loose and starts a fire that destroys the Larson's home. So she's just destroyed their home. But apparently the, the furs give them enough money so that they can buy a new house. So way to go. So <laughs> kind of a crazy story, but look at these winter woolens. So cute. Hand knit woolens. Mama knitted Kirsten's sweater, hat, and mittens in traditional Scandinavian patterns out of natural wool sheared from black and white sheep. She'll need them when she walks the trap line with Lars. Hand, hand knit with wool blend yarn. How pretty. And then there is, let's see, this winter skirt and blouse. So Kirsten's winter outfit was inspired by a festival costume from the old country. The white blouse has full peasant, oh, which I guess, we, oh, is this? Nope, I don't think that's the blouse. Um, the winter, uh, the white blouse has full peasant sleeves and a button at the keyhole opening of the neckline. Again, I'm trying to figure out if they're talking about this or if this is part of the flannel underwear. I'm not quite sure. Um, the heavy black skirt has beautiful braid woven in a floral pattern at the waist and bands of red and green at the hem. Two hair ribbons woven in, how cute, woven in bright colors add an enchanting touch. They are enchanting. Cute little hairstyle with your little braids down. Um, I got the flannel underwear. When frosty winds blow across the prairie, snuggle Kirsten into her flannel underwear the chemise comes down almost to her knees and there's a deep quilted border on the petticoat for added warmth. To keep her toes toasty, there's a pair of black and white striped socks. Cute, 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 cute. Um, and this carpet bag totally reminds me of Mary Poppins. I can't hear the word carpet bag. 
carpet bag without thinking of Mary Poppins. Practical pioneers used scraps of carpet and sewed them into roomy satchels to hold their belongings. Scraps of leather were used for handles, just like the ones on this carpet bag. I wonder if they actually used real leather. I bet they probably did. Then she's got these pastimes. She's got paper dolls. And then on long winter days in the cramped cabin, Kirsten would play with her little thaumatrope. How fun. Spinning. Where is it? Is it? Oh, here we go. This little guy. Um, spinning the discs so the bird would hop into its cage. An optical illusion that's as fun today as it was in 1854. Paper dolls helped fill the long hours inside too. They were a treat for pioneer girls who had few playthings. <sighs> Mm -hmm. um, and on days when Kirsten worked the trap line with Lars, she would strap on her snowshoes and walk for miles on top of the deep snow. Mm -hmm. These cute little mittens too. How sweet. Okay, 18 bucks. I mean, you know, separately everything is somewhat reasonable. Um, again, we'll, we'll run through the price list of all this. Look at these dresses over here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's see. Special treasures. Oh, wow. So this is the trunk. It's got this really pretty painted pattern on it and painted with a traditional pattern. It's big enough to hold Kirsten and her bed. How fun. Keep her in a little box. Um, a wonderful way to keep them safe and sound for years to come. Yep. Thank you everybody on eBay who have kept their dolls safe and sound. And someday I will buy a white body Kirsten. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Um, Kirsten's bed. She'll sleep soundly in this sturdy wood bed with its charming hand painted design on the end. So the thing about this is it only comes with a mattress and you actually kind of need that quilt, which again, let's see what the price was. The quilt was 18 bucks. Not too bad. So if you wanted to buy that separately, it, that'd be something you'd want to remember to buy. Um, then yeah 50 bucks it's really cute little hearts 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 so i love i love the motif that they would always put in these books so kirsten had the heart so hearts are everywhere really really cute and then samantha had that little fleur de lis kind of a thing this little guy here this little wing wing bat <laughs> we designers call them and then um ding bat wing bat wing dings um and then uh let's see yeah, and Molly had the star. Love it! Love these details. Um, okay, so hearts are everywhere. So cute. <sighs> Look at these super cute dresses. So Kirsten's work dress. Um, it's apple green with stripes of plum purple and green. I can't see those stripes. I mean, they're barely there, but I bet it's a really cute detail to see up close. How cute are these little sleeves? It comes with ribbons, just the color of the thick cream. Oh, these ribbons that filled her milk when she milked the, uh, that filled her bucket when she milked the cow. And she's got some more shoes and socks. An assortment includes black lace up boots. Wow, only twelve bucks! Black lace up boots, brown striped stockings, and two pairs of striped socks. Cute. Two tone boots. So stylish. Love it. Lace up Kirsten's cream colored boots trimmed in brown at the heels and toes. Um, then we've got this really, 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 really cute Swedish dirndl and kerchief. This is the outfit Kirsten wore on the long, hard boat ride from Sweden to America. Oh, where she lost her friend. So sad. It's traditional... Marta, I think is what her friend's name was. Oh, that was a sad book. Its traditional striped skirt is topped with a peasant blouse of unbleached muslin. Decorative laces close the front of the plaid vest. Cover her head with a flowered kerchief when the cold ocean winds blow. Don't get cholera, Kirsten. Okay, Kirsten's nightgown. Brr. Imagine how cold Kirsten's cabin was on winter nights. She needed a flannel nightgown to keep warm. Sweet. It's trimmed with blue stitching on the yoke. Lace around the collar and a bow at the neck. How cute! And then ribbons for Kirsten. Look at all these ribbons! Only five bucks! Wow. Kirsten's assortment of woven hair ribbons includes a pair of each in royal blue, dark blue, red, I sense a theme, guys, <laughs> American girls, uh, red, multicolor, and creamy beige. How sweet. Okay, so let's talk numbers, Mom. Okay, this is $275 if you want to get this whole collection, the Kirsten doll, three hardcover books, school dress, with the furniture, with the school bench, um, and then the St. Lucia gown and stockings. Or you could get just the Kirsten's Pleasant Dreams collection for $210 with the trunk, the bed, and the nightgown. Or 
you could get, I don't know, would this have to be divided between like Christmas and birthday, maybe? <sighs> wow, could you imagine being this girl who just got all this stuff? <laughs> okay, Kirsten's collection too. Three hardcover books. Then she's got the summer set. She got the whole winter set, the whole birthday set for $3.75. Or, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm not sure any any adult, any american girl will treasure this incredible collection i'm trying to see if there's a price savings here and sorry can't do it can't do it in my head sorry um uh let's see so she gets so she gets basically everything so what this doesn't come with was those two extra dresses and these little boots and things um but you get everything everything for 865 i mean i could afford it now I want to. I want it, but you can't because it's not 1992 anymore. Anyways, was this fun? Hope this was fun. Bye, guys. We'll be back soon with Samantha. Oh, that's going to be a good one. God, Samantha, she's got so much stuff. Okay. <sighs> See you guys soon. Bye.